I'd like to talk to you about a product that started the rooster story. Polylite main sheet. It was uh, during my Olympic campaign in, in the 90s that I realised that letting the main sheet out was the most important aspect of sailing any sort of single-handed dinghy, especially in a laser when the main sheet is so long and so awkward and used to tangle so many times in the boat. Um, I had this crazy idea about a year or two after my uh, Olympic campaign that ended and I was working back in industry and I thought I'd approach a decent load manufacturer to come up with a new concept. My idea was that I wanted to change the load bearer on the rope from being on the inside of the rope to being on the outside. To do that we've we filled our rope with a fairly you know the floating line and uh, so it's got no 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 stretch resistance on the inside and the, it's the outside that does the, the load bearing. What it does do is that when it's under load, the sort of load you'd use in your hand for sheeting and things like that, um, the outer core is stretched and it grips the inner core. So when you pull a piece of polylite, you'll find that it suddenly feels like a pencil in your hand rather than a rope that normally absorb twists. So it's very fixed. This means that when you, um, when it goes through a ratchet block as well, and you're constantly sheeting through a ratchet block when you're sailing a single-handed dinghy because you're constantly trimming all the time, um, if it, unless the outer, be outer core is gripping the inner core, what tends to happen with a normal rope is the inner core takes the load and the outer core is just the jacket that protects the inner load. So the jacket starts to rotate around the inner core and makes the rope unstable. So when you leave it in the bottom of the cockpit, all you can see is tangles that want to knot. Because the outer core on a polylite main sheet is the load bearer, it's cleverly constructed just at the right amount of grip on the inner core, it becomes this pencil-like thing. It becomes like a chain on a bicycle that always goes around the cogs. And so long as you've taken all the twists out of your polylite main sheet and never put one in, I'm not doing, I'm not doing this, that's the way people coil ropes. If you do that, you'll find a series of knots that won't go through your main sheet block. But so long as you've taken the twists out and you do give no twist in the rope at all, you'll find that the rope just runs through the sheets, through the blocks, simply and easily. And a number of Olympic guys, when I used to sail against them, used to call it the snake. It just went out through the block every time. And it was, uh, it was Robert Scheidt's kind facts to me back in the, in the late 80s to say, your main sheet's fantastic. Can I have three more, please, that started Rooster Off? So I still like to keep thanking Robert Scheidt for his, his help at giving us the leg up. And, and people like, uh, you know, people like uh, Nick Thompson this year who managed to win the World Championships again using a polylite main sheet. Thanks very much, Nick Thompson. So, um, but it's a great product. It's now available. It's always been available in the 6 mil, at least since the Olympics in 2000, because it won gold and silver in the Olympics in 2000. Um, and it's always been available in 7 mil. Personally, if I'm a you know, top sailor who's sailing every weekend and every day, my hands get hardened, I can cope with the six mil, no problem at all. If I'm a club sailing weekend warrior, which is probably what I am now, I'm, I'm kind of happier with a seven mil unless it's really light winds. And the seven mil comes now in some nice colours, so you've now got red as well as the black and blue options in, in Polylite. But it is our, our core basic product. We think we understand technology and we think we, uh, we tend to get it right more times than we get it wrong. Anyway, if you want to ask any questions about any ropes or any other aspects to rooster clothing or ropes or accessories, do give our customer sales team a call or check us out online at roostersailing.com. You might also want to follow the blog that's there as well because occasionally I give a few tips away.